Next question, 46. Direction for the following three items. Consider the given information and answer the three items that follow. Um, eight railway stations A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are connected either by two-way passages or one-way passages. One-way passages are from C to A, E to G, B to F, D to H, G to C and E to C and H to G. Two-way passages are between A and E, G and B, F and D and E and D. So this is the given information. We will have to, we will just uh, make a drawing that will help us to solve the questions faster. So one-way passages are from C to A. So we will mark in a, so C to A, okay. And E to G, so E to G, then B to F, B to F, then D to H, D to H, then G to C, so G to uh, so, so, sorry, in the E to G, B to F, D to H, and G to C. So G to, okay, sorry, G to C. Okay, G to C. N then E to C. So E to C. E to C and H to G, H to G, H to G. Two way passages are between A and E, A and E, A and E. So two way passages are represented by arrows on both the end. Um, G and B, G and B. G and B, then F and D, F and D, E and E and D, E and Okay, <laughs> there is no point. Right. Let me just, just E and D. I'll draw like this. Okay. So we have marked all our passages. Um, so this is the figure. Now we will go to the question. We will use this figure to answer all the questions. I'll just copy this. So our first question is question 46. Uh, this is the figure we got. Uh, while traveling from C to H, which one of the following station must be passed through? So we, we need to travel from C to H. So as you can see, from C, the only path is to A. We have to go to A. And from A, there is a two-way path to E. So E, so from C, there will be A and then an E then E. Uh, from E, we have multiple choices. We can go to G or we can go to C again uh, or we can head back to A again or, or we can go to D. If we go to G, uh, the only path is to go back to C. So that is not a good path. So the only path here is E to D. Then uh, we can go to H. So the path here is C, A, E, D, H. So the question asks, while traveling from C to H, which one of the following station must be passed through? We'll see. Do we have to pass through G? We don't have to. So we, uh, we can go from C to A uh, and then to E and then to D and then to H. So G is 
need not be passed through that is a wrong option do we have to pass e uh, so if you see though in in this path we chose we must pass through e to reach h so c to a then we ha will have to go to e there is no other way from c only we can go to a then we have have to go to e there is no other path we can choose so uh, e is a possible solution here so we'll if you analyze other options uh, do you have to pass through f you don't have to pass through f since c a e d h is an option so this is a wrong option but there is a problem in the option c if you look at the different paths we have to pass through h the only st station from which h can be reached is station d so no matter how what different path you choose uh, if you choose say from e to g then g to oh earlier i made a mistake from g i said uh, we can only go to c that is not the case we can go to uh, b also so g to b and b to f and f to d then d to h we can choose that path if we choose that path um f f will be crossed but it is not a necessary condition we have a different path c a e d h so that is a path so these two are the paths we can choose but in both the two paths d is there so if you want to reach h you will have to go through d since from uh, d only there is only one path that comes into h that is from d only so this is also a correct answer uh, but in the official upsc key the answer given is b e i am not sure why they uh, made uh, why they said option c d is a wrong answer um the question is which one of the following station must be passed through so d must be passed through if if we are going from c to h Sim just like we e must be passed through both e and d are correct answer here but in the official answer key it is given b as the correct answer uh, so i am guessing it is a mistake from their side if i am wrong uh, and if you have a reason why uh, d cannot be an answer please do comment under this video it will be helpful to others also and uh, i will try to uh, redo the video if i find a proper explanation why d can, d is wrong okay anyway official answer key is option b e only so that is question 46 so we will move on to the question 47 so this is the question 47 sorry okay in how many different ways can train travel from f to a so now f to a is the question so first first path we can count the number of possible ways f to d we can go f to d then d to uh, e we can go e to a this is the shortest path f d e a now another path is f to d d to h h to g g to c d to a this is another path another path will be f to d uh, d to e e to c d to a this is another path fourth path will be f to d uh, d to f to d uh, d to e e to g g to c e to a this is also a path we could choose so in the option if you see the largest number is four so we don't have to count if there is any other unique path we already got four unique paths so the solution to question 47 is d four so we'll move on to the next question uh, question 48 
if the root between g and c is closed so that means uh, which one of the following stations need not be passed through while traveling from h to c so g to c is closed so this is closed uh, and we have to travel from h to c h to c so which one of the following station need not be passed through while traveling to h to c so path we can choose is h to g uh, g to c is closed so we will have to go to g to b then b to f f to d d to e uh, e to c this is the path in this which of the following station need not be passed through while traveling from h to c so e we need to pass through so e is the wrong answer b d we need to pass through so that is a wrong answer a there is no a in this so that is the correct answer b there is b in this so that is also wrong so our solution to question 48 is c a so these are the three questions i'll just go through once more 46 as i said earlier 46 is little confusing uh, option c is also right according to my logic and uh, but the official key is b option v e and 47 how many different ways can train travel from f to a these are the different ways i have written down the four different ways uh, so option d 4 48 uh, we don't have to go to station A when traveling from H to C and given G to C is closed. So yeah, that is the solution to question 48 C.